hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will allow the zombie to damage the player let's click on the player okay everything else is set up open up the zombie script and inside this raycast what we will do we will say player script and then player body and this will be equals to hit info so it means that if we hit whatever object and if that object has the player script then we will detect that okay so hit info dot transform dot get component and get the player script simple as that now before damaging the player let's add a function to our player to take damage okay so on the player script at the top after this player movement let's add a header by the name of player health things and in here we will create a private float and this will be the player health this will be equals to 50 f and actually let's set the player health to 100 okay or you can set it to 120 if you want after that we will say public float and this time we will create a variable by the name of present health And that will be it now when the game start we want the present health to be equals to the player health so we can say present health equals to player health so when the game start the present health will be then 120 yeah. okay after this let's get down after the sprint function let's create a public void by the name of player hit damage and here we will pass a float which will be take damage okay and the zombie will take the damage what this uh, the player will take the damage what the zombie wants to give so the zombie give damage of five okay now in here we will minus the present health of the player by the take damage okay and then we will say that if the present health is less than or equals to zero then we will simply call a function which will be by the name of player die And after this, let's create this function for play private void player die. In here, we will destroy the player game object after 1.0 seconds or one second. And we will unlock the cursor so that we can then stop the game. So right here, type cursor dot lock straight equals to cursor lock mode dot none. Okay, and this is the same thing as we did for the object okay the object takes the amount which the rifle will give and we will minus that amount from the total number of the object health and when the object health becomes zero it will simply die okay this is similar to this one as you can see right here the player will take damage and who will give the damage the zombie so the zombie gave damage of five and the player present health will be 120 so 5 will be minus from 120 every time the zombie hits the player and when that health becomes zero the player will simply die now let's give the player the damage okay so on the zombie one right here we check all of the objects so whatever object contain the player script then we will damage only that object okay so for example the player is holding the player script so the player will get damage after this we will simply say that 
if the player body is not equals to null okay if we find the player then what we want to do we want to give damage to the player so we will say player body dot we will call the function which we created player head damage okay player head damage it needs this parameter so we will give it so the parameter will be give damage so give damage is 5 this will be passed to this variable now we take damage is 5 so 5 will be minus from the present health every time the zombie hits the player and this is just a simple code for damaging the player now let's save this get back to the game now as you can see here is the zombie everything is attached if we click on the player let's open up the player script and now as you can see the present health is zero but when we play the game you will notice the present health will be then set to 120 as you can see now if we get closer to the zombie and when the zombie attack us you will notice the health will be then decreasing as you can see by 5 the health decrease now 95 90 85 80 75 70 as you can see the health is decreasing and it means that the zombie is attacking us okay let's walk around the zombie okay and when the health becomes zero now as you can see the player dies so this means that now the zombie can damage the player and in the next video we will allow the player to shoot down the zombie and kill the zombie so with this done catch you guys in the next one